Hello, my name is Dr. Prerna Kohli. I'm a clinical psychologist and the founder of Mind Tribe. At Mind Tribe, we provide affordable counseling, support groups, communities, workshops and e-learning for mental health. Today, I will be sharing with all of you what you should expect from your first therapy session and how you should equip yourself to get on board. The first step to healing ourselves is the radical acceptance of the fact that there is something that has disrupted the flow of our lives. None of us are trained to idly deal with the shifting nature of our environment and to ad- actively adapt ourselves to these things. As cliche as it may sound, but whenever we are unable to deal with something that falls out of our area of competence, we resort to seeking help from the ones who are professionally trained in that field. Most of us believe that we all know what is the ideal way of dealing with issues pertaining to our mental health. Sometimes we even find comfort in communicating our pain to our loved ones. However, you can talk with a close friend or relative about what's troubling you, but it is not the same as a professionally trained and experienced psychologist who knows exactly what kind of help you need. What may seem as your way of dealing with this disequilibrium is just a temporary solution to a problem that needs a long-term intervention. As a society, we have come a long way from denying the concept of mental health and therapy to giving it some room for discussion. What still acts as a barrier to letting ourselves freely discover this road to healing is an anxious state of mind. As a therapist, I understand this overwhelming feeling of taking the first step and the anxiety surrounding the outcome of this overall experience. There are a lot of thoughts that surround our minds whenever we wish to talk about ourselves. In order to get ready for your session, you need to identify what is the distress you wish to address and what is it that you wish to achieve from a therapeutic alliance. Make a list of things you wish to discuss and if you feel your thoughts are too incoherent, freely convey them to your therapist. When you are doing this, be true to yourself and disengage from feeling of being judged. Another pertinent factor in counselling that everyone needs to be aware of is that your information and everything that you disclose is kept confidential. So when your counsellor asks you questions about your past, your present and your personal information, it is only to procure relevant information for effective therapy. Answer all the questions without any inhibition and feel free to ask as many questions pertaining to your issue and your therapy. We at Mind Tribe hire well-qualified therapists who are trained in the area of specialization. If you are reluctant to seek therapy because you feel your therapist is not competent enough to deal with your issues, let go of your inhibitions and accept the fact that your therapist knows their job and is there to help you. I read somewhere that people in therapy are often in therapy to deal with people who won't go for therapy. As much as I agree with this thought, I insist that you motivate and appreciate yourself for not only embarking on this journey for yourself, but also for those who surround you. With this, I thank you for listening to this monologue and I hope that I was able to help you with all your queries regarding your first therapy session. Wishing you all the very best for your journey. Thank you and take care.